This is a video on long COVID. We want to share an idea on why COVID patients keep having complaints after actual infection, and what can be done to diminish these complaints. Maybe this is something for you? Long COVID patients suffer from various complaints. Short of breath, headache, fatigue, and pain are most common. These complaints get worse during activities. What causes these diverse complaints? Already there is a lot of research on long COVID and there are several sometimes complex and scary theories. But does it have to be so complicated? Could there be a more logical explanation for these complaints? Let's have a look at the most common problem, short of breath. During daily activities like walking, but already during a conversation, you need energy. Breathing provides oxygen and releases carbon dioxide for this energy process. It's the surplus of carbon dioxide that drives your breathing. Let's see how breathing actually works. Your diaphragm, the respiratory muscle, lies in between of the thoracic and abdominal cavities. To get air in your lungs, this muscle has to contract and descend. Our abdominal wall relaxes so the diaphragm can come down. So, this is a cooperation of the diaphragm and the abdominal wall. Now, we assume that the COVID infection in some way disturbs the connection between the diaphragm and the abdominal wall. So, when active, the level of carbon dioxide increases. You want to increase your breathing, but you can't because your abdomen does not allow it. The diaphragm can't descend, constraining your breathing. If you want to breathe deeper, but you can't, this gives you a short of breath. Oxygen and carbon dioxide cannot be sufficiently exchanged, disengaging your energy system. In this state, being active is hardly possible. This may also cause muscle acidity that can give you burning and pain. The increased carbon dioxide level may give headaches and limit your concentration, known as brain fog. This phenomenon is familiar in scuba divers. We could go a step further, but to be sure we need more research. There are clues that the diaphragm acts upon the autonomous nervous system. This part of your nervous system regulates digestion, your metabolism, but also your heart rate and blood pressure. This indicates a relation between disturbing breathing and fatigue, a dysregulated immune system, weight gain, and even heart problems. There is still a lot to find out, but why wait? Just by improving your breathing, you may already diminish your complaints. Don't assume too quickly your breathing is alright. Many people don't realize how bad they breathe and how they can improve. Talk it over with your therapist. Want to know how to practice your breathing? Want to know more on this topic? Or do you have any other questions? Go to spineandjoint.nl Together we can fight long COVID.